Hey everybody, welcome back to Cobalt Core. We are officially on hard mode and we have a new team member in Isaac. Isaac focuses on moving mid-row objects like drones and missiles. Uh, one of the cards here, Parallel Shift, introduces a new mechanic where you can go left and right with Q and E to move things in the middle and then uh, instantly move them uh, to the right. So we'll see how that comes into play right now. I don't see a, a way that it's gonna get used because we can't launch anything. Uh, on hard mode, we have a weak cockpit, as you can see. So now our positioning doesn't only matter for offense, but we have to be considering where we're getting hit as well. That's not something we were thinking of in uh, normal mode. We have uh, plus one basic shot card in our hand, less pre-upgraded card offerings, and minus one max hull. Uh, we were able to get rid of a basic shot through the choice that we made at the end of the last video. Uh, also, all artifact map nodes offer one more option. So... Let's see what we can do here. You can see he is targeting the cockpit, which is uh, not ideal. So how are we going to handle that? Well, if it's going to take three damage, then I need to plan to have defense for that. We can simply multi-shot here, go basic shot, and then I do want to... I, I imagine our health is going to be a little bit more precarious. To be fair, it was our first run last time on normal. Learned a lot of things. We did really well, I would say. Uh, and so I think hard mode is gonna feel, well, a little bit more substantial of a challenge. Let's see how it, how it goes. Okay, so he's going to apply a status effect and raise their shields. Okay, so momentum is nice. Gain a shield, plus one for every time this is played in combat. This is really good in like a longer fight. Uh, this seems very fun. If we were to, I just, I just really want to get damage here, right? And I don't have a lot of options for that but let's go basic shot we'll do a lunge as well and maybe i'll just build up a block here i have one dodge available or i should use a uh, momentum obviously we'll do that instead of a basic block okay so now he's buffed power drive so he's dealing three damage of course targeting my cockpit which is awesome here i can put out an attack drone now i do want to do this because i just want to feel how fun it is if at all um let's go ahead and throw this out here so that's nice and then we have that other card we could kind of manipulate where that goes uh if i lunge here then yeah what happened i guess this stays stationary i go to the right he's going to be targeting here and that's better than targeting here so we'll do that and then i think we'll just go I could shield surge, but I do want damage. Because he, he, if he starts buffing himself with this, it's going to be a little problematic. Uh, we don't heal after a fight now, unfortunately. Maybe, okay, maybe I'll play it a little safe there. I'll play it a little safe, build up those shields. We do get this thing plunking in every turn, so that's kind of cool. Now momentum's giving us two shields, but we don't need to put that in right now. We can just focus on damage, of which we don't have a lot. So I just want to try this in a non-pressure situation. So it lets you move all mid-row objects left to right with Q and E, and it looks like it's going to instantly move it to the right as well. So I click that, moves it to the right, and then I can go Q and E to move it in either direction. And it seems like this might just stay here, so I don't have to spend it right away. Kind of like an evade, which is really cool. Uh, but let's go basic shot, and we will gain two shields now with momentum. We still get the one from there. Now, this is actually kind of cool, because as we throw these things out there, um, it also serves as a blocker for us. And I guess against us, too. But in this situation, what I could do is put out some basic shots. Right? So let's say I did... Let's say I did a basic shot like this, okay? Then I can shift, I can even throw a parallel shift to not spend that. It's gonna come over here, allowing us to attack it, and I can spend one evade moving to the right. Uh, there's no other attacks that I can do unless I had two to go to the left and then swing back over here. So we'll just do a momentum and we'll slide over. We'll take our little chip damage. Okay, now I'm, like, way out of position, though, which is kind of annoying. I can throw up another attack drone. 
Uh, I have no evades. If I go dodge, I can move one to the left, and then I can take a block shot, and then I can put up an attack drone. So maybe that's what I should do here. Block shot, attack... Oh! Wait, what just happened there? Attack drone. Oh! Oh, I launched it out of the missile bay and hit the existing one. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, cool, 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 cool. Just another thing that we're gonna have to think of, and that's okay for me. Uh, I think in this scenario, we're going to go multi-shot, basic attack, and lunge to get out of the way of this five damage. Because, yeah, I could take him down, but uh, I can get him next turn and then keep all of our, all of our health. Okay. So, let's... Yeah, this is a bit awkward. I do have these drone shifts, which is cool. Right? So, if I go... Attack drone here. And then I shift this over. That's pretty good. There's not much else I can do, unfortunately. So, let's go now with a... Like, I can't, I can't get over there. I really can't. I could parallel shift, but then he's going to slide to the right... And I would have to use a drone shift to move him back anyways. So I think in this scenario, we just take a basic dodge. And we move on. Okay, so now he's coming in hot. Um, we can use these to, like, block a big attack, too. Which isn't too terrible. Like, that's not a bad option in this scenario. Because I need four damage. I just, we don't, don't have a lot of damage cards right now. Uh, but if I went with... Basic shot, block shot, he's down to that two, and then if I parallel shift, I can move one over like it did, and then move this one to the right. It's going to get destroyed, but I'm not going to take any hull damage here. And then all I need is a basic shot. Okay, very different way of playing already. Striker Squadron. Launch an object one space to the left of your missile bay. Attack drone mark two shoots two damage shots once per turn. Um, so it's saying, how do I read this? If it's, is it launching? I guess I'm launching two. One to the left and one to the right. Okay. Less energy next turn, so you gain two less energy. What's the upgrade here? You remove that energy thing or they come in and have a bubble shield. This object can take a hit without being destroyed. Very neat. Uh, big shields here or scatter shot. Move enemy right. If this attack hits the enemy, it will instantly move to the enemy two spaces to the right. I mean, let's play with this. Let's play with the um, the mid range stuff and see how that feels. Okay. We do have a couple of bigger fights here if we want them. Going into an artifact. I guess, let's see what we're capable of. Let's go through the question mark. Uh, my brain. Uh, you all again. An extra planar being. Neat. What do you value most? Okay, we're going to get uh, a special card here. A single-use heal, single-use damage, single-use evasion. We'll take damage because we're very light on that right now. Uh, okay. Wizbo. Thou art in the present of Wizbo the Fram Jificent. Wow, cool hat. Thank you. What is Solar Flare? Doing an intense astronomical activity. You and the enemy ship both gain one heat before the start of your turn. Oh, boy. And this is, uh, if heat is three or more, you take a hull damage and reset to zero. But we're both going to gain that. So we're both, we both want to end this as soon as possible. Okay, I could go, I could go attack drone into parallel shift to move it over. Put up my block. And then not take any hull damage. Right? So we move that over. I could go basic block here. I do kind of want a multi shot, but I've put that guy in front. So let's do that. Okay, now he's going to give me a new status. Can't be dodged. Exclamation pit. Exc <laughs> exclamation pit? Uh, this enemy is going to give you a card. Fine, fine. So I'm going to get a bunch of cards here. Striker Squadron. 
is going to launch one here and one here. That's how I'm understanding that. Um, which means I should move to get that out there. And I have Ephemeral Blast as well. So let me do this. I come here. We go Ephemeral Blast. We go Striker Squadron. Yep. Okay. And then maybe I should just Shield Surge here. Because there's nothing I can... Like, I can shift these around. That doesn't add any benefit to me. This is empty, so we're hitting. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, cool. This is this is neat. And I almost feel like I have a wall of, of safety. What is going on here? Isaac is missing. Whoa. The card's owner is missing. Play it to return them. Okay, but what caused that? That's one of the status effects it gave me. Oh, really neat. So, question is, if I play an attack drone, do I get that card play as well? I don't. Oh, wow, that's neat. So, I just have to play one of their cards. It'd be neat if it was like, I don't know, like force you to memorize it in that sense so you knew what, what the card did, but over time, you just wouldn't be a thing, right? Uh, I guess here I can do a lunge and do an attack. Oh, no, I can't. I have no energy. Wait. Did that also cost... Oh, right. We had one less energy because of this. I didn't even consider it. But he's going to die anyways. Cool. Man, this is going to get... This is going to get a little swanky. Okay, Space Mine. Destroying it will damage its destroyer for two. Stun Shot or Scoot. Instantly move to the right three spaces. I'm kind of envisioning a world here where I'm just going to clutter that middle area so much and the enemy's going to have to kind of shoot through it to deal with me. But, I mean, it's a, it's a strategy. I don't know if it's a good one, but it is a strategy. So let's go here. We won't repair. We'll probably... Well, maybe we'll do an upgrade. And I could get rid of that that energy reduction because that is pretty significant this is nice too they can take a hit without being destroyed but this energy suck feels quite bad and we did get rid of one of our basic cards earlier so let's upgrade we'll take the striker squadron upgrade squadron a rad to totes rad dude totes rad okay this guy's big jumbo oh hey look target practice yeah that's Kind of what it feels like. Uh, this is brittle right in the middle, though. Brittle in the middle? <laughs> no, just me. Okay, we definitely want to play momentum here. And we want to play our striker squadron. Oh, I just realized, too, this does have exhaust. So you're only getting this once. Yeah. It's still good. It's still good. Um, if I launch it out here because it's coming from the missile bay... This, one of them will get destroyed, unfortunately. One will survive. Uh, and I'll only take one damage. So, fine. Fine. Let's go momentum here. And let's go. Okay. Well, this guy's not getting attacked, but uh, I am. I'm getting attacked from absolutely everywhere. I could put a space mine in there, and then what's nice about this, we see the enemy in tents, so if I put a space mine, I know he's going to take two damage from that. Uh, then I could lunge, I suppose. I could lunge over here, then I'm reducing the amount of damage I take, and my cockpit's not getting hit. And then I could multi-shot. Right? So now I'm only taking two. If I played my dodge, I can only take one, but I think that's okay. Let's go multi-shot here. And he's going to hit this brittle part. Okay, cool. One by three. Can I end him here? That is... Not possible, I don't think. I also need to pay attention to when these fire. If they fire after the enemy attacks or not. 
So if I move to the right, he's hitting me in my in the cockpit, which we don't want. Um, we do have a parallel shift. But if I throw my other attack drone... Hmm, how should I do this? If I move one to the right, I'm getting hit here, and that's bad. This is actually all pretty bad. Like, I do feel like I should just move one to the left. But then this is getting hit as well, because this will be hitting it. So that's a little bit of a problem. If I lunge two to the right, maybe that's like my best play. Yeah. I'm gonna lunge two to the right. Then I'll launch my attack drone here so it's attacking the brittle part. And then I can use my evade to move one more. Unless I want to... Seeing as he's attacking three times, so even if I block with one of these, I'm still taking a bunch of damage, which I don't love. Uh, so maybe what I should do here is just do a block shot. Move here. And now let's see. Okay, my stuff... The mid row does go first. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mid row does go first. Overpower adds two damage to all attacks, decreases at the end of the turn. So we get two stacks of overpower or overdrive. We have uh, Bay Overload. Gain three energy. Missile malfunction. The ship's missiles and drones will all launch backwards. Oh, interesting. S okay. <laughs> so for two turns, anything I launch launches backwards. But I get energy to spend in that turn. Or Battle Repair. A shield and a hull heal. That's pretty expensive. Ah, okay. I could drop it. Or, oh, wow. Okay, or this becomes a single use, but that's actually not too shabby. Hmm. I had two damage to all attacks, but this is only my attacks. This is not my my drones or any of my, my mid-level stuff. Let's take Battle Repair. Overcharger. Every fourth turn, gain an Overdrive. After your first attack each turn, gain a stun charge. Your next attacks always stun. Or gain an energy every third turn. Yep, I'm going to take the energy play there. Okay, artifact me. Hull plating. I don't hate it. Fracture detection. One random part is made brittle. We got that at the end of the last run, and that was very cool. Uh, but I'm feeling like with the increased difficulty and the uneasiness of Isaac's situation and learning him, that maybe just taking the plus three max hull and heal right now is the way to go. So that's what I'll do. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. Beams one shield at his target. So that's his. We want to kill that. He's this is this is missile on missiles. This is missile on missiles. Let's do a little bit of this. If if I okay, if I put out my striker squadron here, then it's gonna go on either side. He's gonna launch something into the middle. And it's gonna get killed. Right? But if I move to the left, shoot this. Then I'm launching out over here, and that's not going to do anything either. So is that the play? Maybe it is. Because I think when they run into each other, they just, they both get deleted. Let's launch them. Okay. Then I'm going to go left. I'll bait, I'll multi-shot. So he takes one. My guys shoot. That's cool. Yeah, so they cancel each other out. So now I do want a parallel shift. Because I want that I want that damage coming out. And this this card is still really good because they're dealing two damage. So I can't be too upset about that. Um, however, however, I think what I'll do in this scenario is go for a uh, basic shot. Then we'll do the parallel shift and I'll probably even move it. right so that it stays alive and I get that extra two damage and then I could just build some basic blocks here we don't know what he's launching but if it's the shield thing we don't I mean it's not the end of the world we'll just play a shield shield surge here okay one shield and one attack drone mark two of course of course 
Uh, and I have no way of moving here either. Ugh, that is kind of gross. That is kind of gross. So I'm going to have to take two, but that's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, battle repair cost me two. And then I'm blocking that, so that's okay. Yeah, okay. So battle repair will go. Oh, right. Yeah, this is actually good for me here. Because I was thinking. <laughs> It, this is a hard thing to process where you're shooting from the cannon and launching from your missile bay. It's just a weird thing to think about lining up. But if I do go with the space mine here, I feel like if I launched that into his shield drone, it would get destroyed. And I feel like I would then be the destroyer because this would cancel, right? So I'd probably just take two damage immediately. But if I put it here, he's going to launch into it and destroy it and take two damage. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's do that. He is going to shield up a little bit. I think I'll just do... I mean, I guess I'll just block shot here. That's probably better than momentum, considering how close to dead he is. I get the temp shields. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, now we're cooking with fire. So he's actually dead this round. The question is, do these both attack? I'm not actually sure. And I imagine if I parallel shift... Oh, this moves all mid-row objects, doesn't it? That's really neat. Yeah, see, now this is going to shoot and I'm not going to get shot. I could even launch... If I would have launched another attack drone then did that, it would have been better. But uh, I didn't. Uh, okay, either way, it doesn't really matter what I do here. I could go to the left and then swing back to this side. Okay. So now let's pay attention to what happens in this middle section. So I still attack first, it looks like. All right. Cool. Ooh, wave charge. We loved that in the last run. Big shield is kind of cool. Big shield is cool. Look at this. Big shield A for two. That's not bad. That's not bad. I wonder... I guess you would only want... See, you're kind of wasting one here, right? Because you only have a max of four shields. So maybe big shield B is even better in that scenario for upgrading. Uh, I do feel like things are a bit expensive. But maybe that's just confirmation bias. Because if I'm looking at this, I only have two expensive cards. So let me add the wave charge for this run. Little little familiarity there. Um, unknown or boss artifacts and cards. Let let's go to the unknown and just see, see what's out there. Minefield. Oh wow, with a lot of exploded ships inside. Let's stop and look for cool stuff. Oh neat. Okay. Lose an HP, gain an artifact. Lose three HP, gain one of three artifacts. So we get to pick. Can I afford that? I'm gonna do it. Okay. Gain drone shift on the first turn. That's interesting. That's very cool. And you get three of them. Adaptive plating. One max hull and heal every time you defeat a boss or elite. I mean, that could stack up too. Every fifth time you attack, gain and evade. Not something I could... I mean, you can plan for it. You see the charges, right? But um, I'm going to go wave control here. All right. Now coming into this. Should I heal or should I upgrade? That is the question. Or should I get rid of some basics? That is an interesting choice. What's this one? Destroys for three damage. Or launches and then shifts everything to the right. And it's flippable. Right click or control check this card to flip the direction of its actions. Oh, neat. So you can shift to the left or to the right. Oh, yeah. See, we never got to... We never got to upgrade this before, did we? Wave beam A is worth three. Or you can add two wave beams to your draw pile. So this is coming in way more often. Okay. Oh, man. I, I feel like I should probably repair. But I'm going to upgrade. Okay. Let's go. Uh, 
wave charge, and we're gonna add... I think I, I like the idea of adding two wave beams, because you're gonna just get these a lot more. Cool. And remember, the wave beam itself is... It, the card that you play initially is exhausted, but the wave beam uh, that you get from it is not, so... Okay, buckle up, buttercups. Sensors are going wild. Crystal? Crystal big. Yep. All right. Battle repair and momentum, I think, is pretty decent right out the gate. Um, this gets us some shields early. This stacks for a longer fight here, but also he's going to continue to get stronger. So killing him faster is better. This is... Oh, yeah. This is exhausted, too. I just realized. This is exhausted. Oh, is that... Is that that good? Maybe only on the upgrade, right? Yeah, like, maybe that's not the card I should have picked. I feel like if I upgrade it to here, it's at least... This is... This is better. Because then you can play it when you need it. Having it exhausted... Kind of sucks. Um, I don't have to play this now. I'm not in super dire straits. So what I could do is play a shield here and then um, launch a space mine. And that'll just like clutter him up a little bit. And maybe basic shot or shield surge if, I'm, if I want to be like super defensive. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go defense here. Just keep our shields high for now. Okay. So he's destroying that. That's excellent. I love that. Uh, I can also put some striker squadrons out. And that's going to be a lot of damage. I'm not getting hit at all. It's going to launch to either side. Let's throw those out. Baboom. And then we're not going to parallel shift. We're not going to... Well, am I... Maybe I should move and block shot. And basic shot. Okay. That was a that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Okay. I can add my two wave beams now. Or I could launch an attack drone. I do think I'm ultimately gonna move uh, to the right. Should I do that now, or does it matter? I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not moving. Uh, that would be moving these guys. Okay, hold on. So if I lunge, that gets me only taking one damage. Just have to decide if I want to launch an attack drone at all. Let's do this, okay? I feel like I should... Do the wave charge. It's adding it to my draw pile. So I don't get that right away either. That's the other... That's the other change. So if we look at... Here. It adds it to your hand. If you go to wave charge A, it gives you an a instant one to your hand right away. But if you keep our deck small, we're going to draw this pretty consistently. Like next turn, we're going to get those. And be pumped about it. Okay. That's the best I can do. Uh, we are going to lose one drone... Unless... I guess I could use all three. And go one, two, three. And here. And keep them alive. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Because that's, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. This is cool. <sighs> is it though? <laughs> Frick. This is actually not cool because I cannot move. I have no evades. So I do feel like, knowing what I know now, the guy that we replaced uh, granted a lot of movement and stuff. And that would have been actually been pretty cool with Isaac because you want to be able to kind of dance around your drones and let the enemy not be able to. So I'm, if I want to do this, I have to destroy this attack drone. It is worth it, ultimately, because I can shield surge, basic shot, multi-shot, wave beam, wave beam, right? Like, it's all the things. So, 
it still comes out to being a head. So let's do that, 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 shield surge. I can't move that. It's still going to get the two damage out, so I'm happy with that. But I do have to remember, like, when I when those are killed, it's kind of sad because I had to I had to exhaust the card to make it happen. Okay, this is scary. This is actually... This is actually really bad. So, I'm going to go Momentum. Space Mind to block that. He's going to take two. And then I have to do a block shot. I'm going to take three here, because the weak cockpit. Four, five. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll take a, just the tiniest amount of hull damage. Uh, or... I could... Uh, parallel shift and get the bomb over here to block that. Yeah, that would be better. That would be better. It's going to move right, and then I'm going to move it to the right. And then I will block shot. Yeah, that's that's definitely better. And now we don't take any hull damage. Got him, Isaac. Got him. Okay. It's coming in hot. Yeah, it's coming in hot. <laughs> I feel like I'm never going to use this card. <laughs> Ah, I don't know. Like, heals are... Tr like, I get I get that heals are rare. I get that. I do. If I put out the attack drone, it's going to get me a damage and prevent two, which is uh, nice. And then I can use a basic dodge, move one to the left. And I guess throw in a block. Oh. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about oh see I just said it's like I'm I just I'm picturing the things shooting from the cannon right it's really a challenge okay so now I am in a bit worse of a position I do not want to lunge because I don't want to end up over there um, if I move to the left now without this being blocked then my cockpit's getting hit for a whole bunch So either way, even if I did move to the left, I'm still taking the same amount of damage. So maybe in this scenario, I just battle repair. Because a basic block and a basic dodge kind of equals out to the same thing. And then this card doesn't come up anymore. That's how I'm interpreting that. Okay. Well, we're still getting one damage. But that was not the way I intended. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get hit for three in current situation here, right? Momentum now seems, ins like, momentum seems insane. If I upgrade this card, I get a card draw, gain three shield, and plus one. Okay, but this three is because of where it's at currently. Yeah. Or I just go straight into here, plus two for every time it's played. Yeah, that's sick too. That's really nice. Can I deal five damage? This is one. Two, three. Hmm. If I, if I, okay. Yeah, I'm going to lunge to the right here. Right? Then I will, um. Yeah. Then I'm going to space mine. Then I'm going to parallel shift. It's going to move them to the right. This will destro get destroyed. And this will get destroyed, but I won't take any damage. And he will take 2 plus 3. I can't kill him now because this needs to get killed for all that damage to come out. Right? I think that's okay. Because then I, then I just need a little bit of damage here. Yeah, I just need one. Cool. Guys, that was... That's fun. Wow, that's very cool. That's very cool. We did get the big heal at the end of the first map. Happy to have it. Payback. Whenever this ship is hit, it immediately shoots a one damage attack. Okay. Man, but see, that your positioning matters even more. Your positioning matters even more. 
We can haul. The part takes... Okay, so this is an attack. The part takes one more damage. So this weakens the section that it hits. But you can upgrade this to become brittle too, but that's very expensive. Or table... <laughs> what is table flip? All cards are flippable actions, such as move. Okay. All tar cards with flippable actions, such as move, are flippable for the rest of combat. This card is also flippable. Instantly move one space to the right. Playing will remove this card for the rest of combat. It's just, it's expensive. It's so, it's so pricey. They're all so pricey. I do feel like this is going to hurt me more than help me. Getting a four cost. I, there's got to be a way to reliably get more energy, right? Like, this is cool. I gain one energy every third turn. But... I guess. But then this has to land on that, too. Let's try Weaken Hull. Glass Cannon. Gain an energy. Oh. Ugh, damn. Okay. So, I would get... <laughs> that's so funny. Gain an energy every turn. An extra one. And every third turn, we gain an extra one on top of that. But the cannons, we only have one, become weak at the start of combat. So, they take... They take uh, extra damage. So we would have a weak cockpit and a weak cannon. Genesis. Gain one of two common artifacts. Then gain one of two common artifacts. Then gain one of two common artifacts. Add three Genesis canisters to your deck. Seems like a wasteful amount of packaging, to be honest. So we would get three artifacts here. But we have the, these Genesis canisters that are going to clog up our deck. Single, once, we, if we, okay, so if we play these cards early against these earlier fights in the next map, that then, that, then that's looking pretty good, because I'm coming out with three artifacts. Gain one energy every time you destroy a mid-row object. Damn, a lot of energy buffs here. Okay. I mean, Glass Cannon would be great. I do want more energy. We talked about that. That's cool. This is very consistent. This seems really fun. But I'm going to take the Glass Cannon. And we're going to use our deployables to try to block as much as we can. But I don't know if that's going to work. So we'll see what happens. That's the risk. That's Glass Cannon for you. Is that a piece of the crystal? Yeah, it kind of tingles even through the gloves. That seems bad. How'd you get it? Big net. Don't hold it so close to me. What are you even going to do with it? Science stuff. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Okay, Sapphire Clister, here we go. Yeah, this is sweaty. Yeah, yeah. We do have a wave beam right off the bat, though, and we're, we're playing with four energy now, which is just like, that is good. That is so, that is so nice. That is so nice. And then every once in a while, we're going to have five. Very cool. Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll take a break here. When we come back, we will go through this section and uh, hopefully crush the Sapphire Sector. If we're feeling confident, we'll go through this middle area. Something like this, right? Hit that one specialty shop. Or if I, do, if I feel like I want to trim down or upgrade our deck, maybe I should be focusing on the, uh, the repair yards a little bit more. I could go through here, take one of these, take this, but then we're missing out on these with the artifacts and cards. So that seems to be how they're approaching that um, balance wise. There are artifacts for grabs all across the middle section at least, but yeah, we'll decide. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye for now.